All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. I hope you enjoyed those songs. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You are listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. It is October 30th, 2020. I want to welcome all those who are listening and watching from YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. You might even be listening on Twitter. Never know. But from all around the world, we will thank you for listening to this podcast. And this is what is in your news. Donald Trump Jr. says COVID deaths are almost nothing. On a day they reported 90,000 infected and over 1,000 dead. So for some reason, the Trump family is still downplaying this virus. Don't fall for it, y'all. Don't fall for it. Just letting you know. It's dangerous. It's still dangerous out there. Wear your mask. I bet you hear the back pedal on that one. Don't fall for it, y'all. Okay? Pretty sure the vaccine is on its way. Don't fall for it. So if you're able to vote, make sure you vote. The election is on Tuesday. It makes it, what, four days away? Three to four days away? Make sure you get out there and vote if you haven't already, because over 8 million 80 million have already voted in early voting processes. So make sure you get out. If you're not going to do it right now, make sure you do it day of on Tuesday. Just make sure you vote. This is a very, very, very important election, y'all. Excuse me. But make sure you get out there and vote. Because if you don't... Your vote could have swayed. Your vote meant a lot to somebody. Because people weren't able to do this back in the day. Freely. People died to do this. So make sure y'all get out there and represent for your city, your state, your culture. Which is the human culture. All right. All right. Michael Skakel, Kennedy's cousin, will not face second murder trial. Prosecutors in Connecticut said they would not bring a new case. Against Mr. Skadel, Mr. Kakel. And, um, that's what we know. His, um, timeline of the case against Michael Skakel in 1975 killing Kennedy's cousin, Michael Skakel would not be retried in the 1975 killing. Prosecutors said that Kennedy's cousin, Michael Skakel, would not face a second trial in the killing of Martha Moxley. And the judge accepted that plea. All right, New York sinkhole, man's horror over fall into a rat-infested chism. A man fell into a manhole or sinkhole and was hospitalized 
He's from the Bronx. After plunging into a sinkhole filled with rats, he couldn't move. It was so many. He plummeted 12 feet through the Bronx sidewalk into a pit of rats. Wow. That's crazy. All right. Georgia's governor. The first lady of the governor. His governor's wife of Georgia. Quarantine after coronavirus exposure. The Georgia governor, first lady, enters quarantine after being exposed to someone with COVID-19. saying she was exposed but it's possible she was exposed she put herself under self isolation but Governor Kemp and the First Lady tested negative for COVID-19 In 2019, a scandal arose over a criminal conspiracy to influence undergraduate admissions decisions at several top American universities. The investigation into the conspiracy was a code name, Operation Varsity Blues. The investigation and related charges were made public on March 12, 2019 by United States federal prosecutors. At least 53 people have been charged as part of the conspiracy, a number of whom pleaded guilty or agreed to plead guilty. 33 parents of college applicants are accused of paying more than $25 million between 2011 and 2018 to William Rick Singer, organizer of the scheme who used part of the money to fraudulently inflate entrance exam test scores and bribe college officials. Lori Laughlin was one of those parents, and she reported to a California prison for two-month sentence in college admission case. She will also have to do 100 hours of community service and pay over a hundred fifty thousand dollar fine. Tokyo Olympics will give refunds to ticket buyers in Japan. You can also apply for refunds in November, says the Tokyo organizers. Melania Trump is heading to Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. And she will do it solo. Brianna Taylor's boyfriend is being sued by the Louisville police, by a police officer for emotional stress, assault, and battery. The 
The countersuit claims that Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly suffered severe trauma, mental anguish, and emotional stress. Wow. This is the officer that was shot in the thigh during a botched raid into Brianna Taylor's apartment. Jordan Peele is to produce a remake of Wes Craven's film, The People Under the Stairs. Taylor Swift has given permission to the Biden-Harris 2020 campaign and ad to use her song, Only the Young. Scientists have found a Madagascar chameleon last seen 100 years ago. Netflix is raising U.S. streaming prices in mid-booming growth. Says the Charlotte Observer. Netflix is raising Netflix is raising most of its US prices by 8% to 13% as its video streaming service rides a wave of rising popularity. NASA's latest status update on the OSIRIS-REx asteroid sample has returned. The OSIRIS-REx successfully stows the sample of asteroid Bennu. The asteroid probe is ready to return to Earth after leak. All right, this is just recent. There was a killing of a young man, 27 year old, named Walter Wallace was fatally shot by police in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on October 26, 2020. Two Philadelphia Police Department officers arrived in the area after Wallace's family called for an ambulance. When police arrived, Wallace moved towards them holding a knife, which he refused to drop after repeated requests when Wallace charged at the officers with a knife in hand, each officer fired several times, killing Wallace. The Wallace family later stated he was having a mental health crisis. And what they do leave out is that he was shot 14 times 
and his mother did not call the police, she called an ambulance and begged the police not to kill her son. Begged them. It's now reported that the police who shot Wallace were improperly trained. This is what the family is saying. All right, moving on. Another one, y'all. Yes, another one. And it's sad because I did see something else about the story. He had a family. He had children. One of his sons was on the news saying they did not have to kill his daddy. And his daddy says he can't close his eyes without seeing them kill his son in his head. The ex-partner of Giuliani Associate pleads guilty in fraud campaign finance cases. The Trump Ukraine scandal was a political scandal in the United States involving efforts by U.S. President Donald Trump to coerce Ukraine and other foreign companies, countries, into providing damaging narratives about 2020 Democratic Party presidential candidate Joe Biden, as well as misinformation relating to Russian interference in the 2016 United States elections. Trump enlisted surrogates within and outside his official administration, including his personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, and Attorney General William Barr, to pressure Ukraine and other foreign governments to cooperate in supporting conspiracy theories concerning American politics. Trump blocked, but later released payment of a congressionally mandated $400 million military and package aid package to allegedly obtain quid pro quo cooperation from Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky. A number of contacts were established between the White House and the government of Ukraine, culminating in a phone call between Trump and Zelensky on July 25th, 2019. So Giuliani's friend, or associate rather, pleaded guilty to this case of fraud. His name is Lev Parnes. Now, this is an improvement, y'all. Check this out. Artificial intelligent model detects asystematic asymptomatic COVID-19 cases. New AI model detects asymptomatic COVID-19 infections through device-recorded coughs, vocal sentiments prior to the pandemic's onset. Research groups already had been training algorithms on cell phone recordings of coughs to accurately diagnose conditions such as 
pneumonia, and asthma. There's now a artificial intelligent model that can say and distinguish asymptomatic COVID-19 patients from healthy individuals through their cough. Wow, that's awesome. It's like a sniffing dog, y'all. You know, if you got drugs and a sniffing dog got you a marijuana, now they got a robot that can tell if you got COVID-19 through your cough. That's crazy. But will it catch on and is it accurate? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm waiting on. That's awesome, though. That's what they're not going to tell you on the mainstream. Only right here on Friday Night Live with your boy, DJ TJ, where you get that kind of information. All right. U.S. records more than 90,000 COVID-19 cases on one day for the first time. We're breaking records now. So if anybody's downplaying this daggone thing, like, don't worry about it. Why are you wearing a mask? Being surprised people are wearing a mask. They're idiots. We're breaking records, man. We never had a day where they had 90,000 COVID cases in one day till now. So they're breaking records out here, man. That's crazy. That is really crazy. Texas early voting exceeds total of all the 2016 ballots. Everything that they got in 2016, we already exceeded it. Majority of the country has already voted. So there won't be very much left on Tuesday. We have a lot of people still that haven't voted. Millions still haven't voted. But majority, if you have an election where... That entire election the entire state's election numbers have been topped by this election's balance. That says something. People haven't been voting. Compared to this year, this is one of the big ones, y'all. This is a huge one. It's huge. If you've been wondering what Ariana Grande has been up to, she's having tons of... <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. She's having tons of quarantine sex and making a great album about it. Wow. Okay. And song after song on her very horny new album, Positions. Grande exalts in the intimate... Ariana Grande's Positions albums solid but doesn't sparkle, says the critics. Ariana Grande released her new album on Friday, just today. And while it's been broadly welcomed by critics, most agree the singer does not break any new ground. Honestly, I love her. She has an amazing voice. But she has so much discovering to do. And your sex life is not one of the things you put out there. She's she's actually, in my opinion, y'all, my opinion, she's actually ruining her career right now. 
by every experiment and every experience that she has, she's putting it out there like she just doesn't care. Her album Positions is the sixth studio album by American singer Ariana Grande, released on October 30th, 2020, by Republic Records. It is a mid tempo RB and trap pop album that primarily discusses themes of sex and features guest vocals from Doja Cat. The weekend and Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah, she's really reaching right now. She needs to be a hook or something on somebody else's album, and then get back in the game because right now her voice is being wasted right now. So, if this actually flops, I'll be surprised. But her last one did. So, I mean, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And I can say that because I don't even listen to her like that. But she didn't blow up like Taylor. She didn't blow up like a number of other people that just put an album out. So she needs to reach a different direction. You know what I'm saying? This is not the direction to go. I understand how young she is. But going sex, you know, talking sex is not going to help her. It's not. I don't know who her manager is, but they need to push her in a different direction. That might have been her idea, or may not have been. So they can do better than that. I'm not happy with that. I'm a big fan. All right. Instagram nixes the recent tab from hashtag pages ahead of election. So there's a lot of changes going on. Recently, the CEOs from Facebook, Instagram, and I believe Twitter were just questioned by the U.S. Congress. And a lot of changes had to take place. Because they were not happy with these three CEOs. And apparently, Instagram made a few changes, and this is just one of them. France. enters their lockdown. They impose a new lockdown nationwide and braces for fresh economic pain. Parisons flee. Sidewalks empty as France enters lockdown. It was a powerful earthquake that struck Turkey and Greece, killing at least 19 people. At least six dead, hundreds injured, as a magnitude 7.0 earthquake hit Turkey and Greece. Wow. They're not sure these different... Organizations aren't sure about the number of people who died. One person, one organization says six dead. Another one says 19 dead. And another one says 17 people have died. So they're not sure about the number of people that have died. But they know that they have found a number of people alive and injured. That's a good thing. I don't focus on death like that. So pray for Turkey, y'all. Pray for Turkey. In Greece. <laughs> 